I've had that song stuck in my head for a solid week now. <laughs> that is uh, not coming back by Day to Attend, who were here with us last week. And there's a very specific reason why we played that. And we have joining us live in studio. And uh, these fine people were spoken about last week uh, by the band uh, because we had Day to Attend here with us in the first hour. And now they are joining us and we get to speak with them live on the air. We have Sheila and Tony Russo from Paper Jam Magazine. Welcome. Thank you. Thank nice you. Nice to be here. Yes, yes. And by the way, so you brought us, this is cool. I should hold this up for people watching online. The, uh, the Girls Rock edition of Paper Jam Magazine. And for those of you who don't know, so this is a publication. Well, tell us um, tell us a bit about this. Uh, how long has Paper Jam existed? We're in our third year. Yeah, we're coming up on our third year, about two and a half years. Yeah, about okay. two and a half years. Yeah. Okay. And of course, the way we met was uh, through Day to Attend because they were our guests in the first hour last week. And they're on the current, uh, the cover of the current edition. They yes, are. they yeah. are our cover story for this new issue. Yes, and they are in the uh, chat room as well. So, um, in fact, I think it was uh, Tom Syracuse was saying, uh, if I'm saying his last name correctly, uh, that I have great taste in music. I assume because I played the uh, the day to attend. Well, you made my, <laughs> you made, definitely made my morning uh, starting off with that song because I'm a huge fan of Day to Attend. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we were talking about that um, off air. Is it uh, the the CD release party is on your birthday? Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to me because uh, <laughs> their their new album World of Zen Falling Awake is uh, going to be available uh, on August third. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, we played uh, a bunch of their tracks for the first time on the radio uh, when they were here last week and. Uh, no, those guys are uh, those guys are absolutely amazing. I do want to say, make sure we say hello to everybody in the Facebook live chat uh, because, uh, like I said, you do have some some fans in there. Yep, Jeff Richards uh, from uh, Day to Attend in the uh, chat room says hi, Sheila and Tony. Uh, Good morning, guys. And uh, Good morning. We love Paper Jam. They say uh, Tom Syracuse says uh, Paper Jam in the house. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, and Anthony uh, Nicastro from uh, Purging yeah, Sin. Yeah, Purging yep. Sin, another. Hey. Great, great band. I believe they just opened up for uh, Godsmack and Flat Black, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. that's a that's a big show. Yeah, that's good a big show. Good for them. They've been around a while. Uh, Miriam Banish uh, joins us in the Facebook. Uh, she says, "Excellent song." Uh, I assume referring to uh, "Not Coming Back." Yeah, that mm. like I said, that's been stuck in my head for yep. the past week. So I'm glad I had a, a good excuse to, to play it again on the show this morning. <laughs> Melanie La Liberty, uh, one of our great uh, friends from the. Uh, State of Vermont uh, joins us in the chat room. Uh, Daniel Syracuse says, love day to attend. Seeing them in Drake it uh, at the boat uh, tonight. Oh, yeah, they were talking about that show. Oh, that must be uh, Tom's brother. Yeah, so so Paper Jam. Um, so it's been around for three years, you said? Yeah, two and a half. Two, two and a half yeah, years? Yeah. Okay. And it's gone through a bit of a transformation, right? Because now, so it, it had been uh, strictly uh, paper, but now it's also a digital uh, magazine publication. Yes, that's, that's brand new as of about two weeks ago. Okay. Um, <laughs> we decided to do a digital ver version because, um, a lot of people were, were asking for it. Yeah. And, uh, so we took some time to think about it and to make the decision. And, um, I'm very happy with the response that we received when people realized they could Click the link, click and read the digital version. Yeah. Uh, but the paper copies are definitely not going away, right? No, um, no, no. We'll definitely keep the paper um, stuff. That's what we're about. So. Yeah. That's hence the name. So now you yeah, can yeah. choose. Now yeah. you can choose. You can get your paper copy or you can, um, going forward, uh, read a digital version. So. And by the way, so I suggest people check out paperjammagazine.com. I'm looking at it right now. And we were talking off air. Uh, I was uh, complimenting Sheila on her uh, web design because I, I love the website. It looks really good. And I'm, I'm a web design nerd and uh, I'm very critical of uh, websites. And I see a lot of websites that aren't great, but this one's really good. And like I said, it's perfect for what you're doing. Uh, so I suggest everyone check it out. Now on the website, are all the back issues on the website? They are. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That must've taken a while to that must have been a lot of work, I would imagine, to get all of that. It was a lot online. of work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. But so the paper version is not going away. No. no. Now, that's what's interesting about that. So I'm really curious about that. So when you decided to start Paper Jam, and obviously, as you said, it's it's called, so the name, it's called that because it's a, a paper publication. That's right. Um, did anybody, did anyone try to talk you out of it? And the reason I ask that is because we live in an era where everything is, um, where everything is digital and a lot of publications like newspapers and a lot right. of magazines over the years, over the past 20 years um, have, have been 
gradually going away because they didn't find it to be a sustainable model. And some of them went away. You know, some of those companies have gone away completely. Yeah. Um, a lot of them now are strictly online. Right. Um, so, I mean, did anyone say to you, wow, what? because honestly, like if I knew you before you started this, right. I, I probably, and you would talk to me about it, I probably would have been like, uh, I don't know. I would have been skeptical. You know what I mean? Just as a business person, you took the risk and you've obviously made it work. This is a success. And it's very impressive, by the way. And and there's, and I was talking too about when Day to Attend was here and I'm I'm kind of flipping through the issue that they were they were in and I'm like, wow, they, this is really, there's a lot here. There's, there's a, a lot it's here. It's always jam-packed. So you've, you've really made this work. Um, but did anyone, I mean, I assume you had people who are skeptical, people who are doubters and you had to kind of prove uh, them actually, wrong. Or, believe it or not, um, what's so interesting is maybe that worked in our favor that yeah. paper publications went away because do you recall the era of of zines? Oh yeah, remember yeah. zines? Yeah, when absolutely. You, when you're that's banned, where the whole idea. Came that's from. where the really? whole idea yeah. came yeah. from. Yeah. I, um, I used to live in Massachusetts, and I was you know I played in bands my whole life. Yeah, and there was a couple of zines like the Noise and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. It was like a big deal if your band got in there. Yeah, and yeah, it, and it's, it's you know something I still have to this day. I can show you know my nieces and nephews. I'm like, oh look, I was actually in a magazine. Oh yeah, yeah, know? yeah. Like you could walk into any any music venue mm -hmm. and, yeah. and see stacks of different, right. you know, yep, all the different ones. Yeah, you know? yeah. And they went away just like you said. Yep, yep. And uh, so one night, Sheila's an English major, and I'm like, listen, this is after a gig. It's like two thirty in the morning. It was two thirty yeah. in the morning. <laughs> okay. No uh, I'm like, you know, zines used to be a big deal. It's too bad that. We have such a great music scene, and that doesn't exist anymore. Right? It's like we sh we should start our own magazine, and so Tony it's like gets, you love English and you love music, you know. Yeah. Tony gets all the credit for coming up with the idea. Yeah. So the ne <laughs> this is the true story, right, Tony? It's so true. the next day, I woke up. He he woke <laughs> and up, and I had already been to Staples. Yeah. And it had made a mock up. Yeah. yeah. So she, yeah, and within I, like six hours, she already had one. And, wow. And, and yeah. so. What's so interesting, and so to answer your question, did anyone try to talk us out of it or encourage us to go a different route? No. Uh, in fact, it caught on quickly. Yeah, we people, had actually and, a lot of support. Good. And good. so, and so, we tend to say that we're old school in a lot of ways, and so we liked the idea of bringing back zines but making it more modern. Yeah. And so, so everyone was really encouraging right from the beginning. So maybe the fact that paper publications went away worked in our favor because here they were coming back right and people were really digging it there yeah. was there was it was, it's like there was a void that needed to be filled yeah and yeah no one and, was doing it and, yeah. and 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 so it was working out great and we didn't it's not really like a business per se it's we, we don't make money from it we're yeah. not in it to make money from it yeah uh the idea was just to give some support and recognition to the awesome all the local bands that yeah. we have yeah. It's, yeah. It, it really is it's all the bands that you meet and talk to yeah and many, many more. Um, they're all just real nice guys. So the idea was just sort of give back a little bit. You know, I, I play in bands, so I, yeah. I know what it's like. You know, do, do you play currently? Or are you? Oh yeah, I'm in two bands. Oh, right what now. what bands? I'm in the Aunt Peg band. Okay. Out of Rochester, and I'm in a band called PSE out of uh, Alton. Oh, cool, yeah. cool, excellent, excellent. Um, yeah. So this is now when it, when it started. Was the first issue like this? Where no, it was okay. very different. Yeah, I brought the, first... the coveted first issue to show you. Oh, yeah. Life. Yeah. For, for for those watching online, if you're watching on Facebook. This, so that was made at Staples. This is made at Staples, oh. and I hand-stapled it at my kitchen table and put them around town. This was how it started, eight pages. Wow. I, I had yeah. 500 copies made, and I hand-stapled them at my kitchen table, and then I drove them around town, and that's how it started. So this yeah. is the coveted first issue. Wow. And it features our friend, Wendy Gagnon Poor, who says, meet the singer in three bands. Okay. So Wendy's in three bands, so I asked her to be on our first cover. Yeah. And it took off from there. So eight pages turned into 12. Yeah. And 12 turned into 16. So I decided I couldn't hand staple that many copies anymore. <laughs> right. So I found a local printer right in Rochester who are fabulous. Yeah. And so the magazines are now printed by Lilac City Printing. Okay. In Rochester. And they they hate the name. And 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 they gave us the <laughs> really paper oh jam. paper yeah. jam yeah, yeah. A, a printer's so, nightmare yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was it was really funny because the printer took us back and showed us this giant machine that they print the magazines on. Yeah. And they said we we. We really hate it when we get a paper a jam. jam. And yeah, we, yeah. It, it was really funny. Yeah. But anyway, so it ex it kept expanding and expanding. And um, and actually, and, it started out quarterly. 
it was the idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and within, I think, the second issue, if there was so much clamor that we were like, okay, we have to at least go bi-monthly. Yeah. And so we've been bi-monthly ever since. So wow. it's just yeah. been on a and it's complete. Just getting bigger and more yeah. pages. and We love it. It's yeah. a lot of fun. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you ever do you ever have moments where you go, wow, this is uh, this is a lot of work? Like, I mean, I assume, or, or I mean, do you have do you have help with it, or do no. you do this all yourselves? That's all Sheila. Oh, that's and Sheila. Wow. I've, I'm like a musical consultant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and she does all the real heavy living. Oh no! I kidding. say, Tony, what what type of gear did he say that he plays? And yeah, yeah. he helps me with that. Right. Um. So yeah, it's all me for now. I could really use some staff. <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> it's kidding. Very busy. Huh? Um, but I'm not complaining. It's, yeah. it's, um, uh, it's been a great thing and we have one of the best music communities mm -hmm. and, um, it's really, it's, it's a lot of fun because it's really we, a lot of fun. We have yeah. these bands come over the house. We, we had our basement done and there's my band practice. So there's a full practice space. Yeah. So they come over, we have our interview with them. Uh, a lot of times they'll play, we, you know, talk guitars and all that kinds of stuff, but it's, yeah. it's just great to meet all the people and we always spend a few hours with them yeah you know, it's, it's, it's always a good time yeah so usually sundays is paper jam interview day okay uh so sunday we'll prepare we we finished our basement we call it the r and r lounge yep. right russo yeah, and russo right. ah yeah. and and so you know it kind of looks like a little pub down there with a live jam space yeah so we usually an interview you know the when the band arrives we greet them outside we bring them in and um we have some food and snacks. We give them a little tour of the guitar lounge, yeah, and I then a, I have a guitar room. Okay, and then we start with the interview. Yeah, um, and we start with like a speed round, and we have some fun. And there's usually a lot of laughs. Yeah, it's a great time. Now, so what's your process for the interview? Do you do you record it? Do you record audio of it and then take it? And turn um, it into I actually a... literally type. Uh, I type while they answer. No kidding. Yeah, I do. I type. Yes, yeah, she types. I, wow. I type super fast. I type, Are you, uh, fast? I, yeah, I do type. Uh, their answers um, I as they're okay. answering the questions. Yeah. And um, and then, so I have not recorded any of the interviews. However, we're, we are we're going to go down that road. We're going yeah, yeah. Yeah. to start Zoom interviews on August 18th. Okay. We have our first Zoom interview because what happens is some of the bands who want to be in Paper Jam live two or more hours away. Yeah. In New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I don't expect everyone to travel that far. Yeah. Uh, so I decided to start Zoom interviews, and um, th that comes with the capability of recording. So then that's when I'll start recording. And okay. Yeah. And then w when you do that, will you will you post uh, the video of that as kind of like a? I hadn't in thought. A, in I hadn't to... thought that far ahead. I would say but prob I probably like... excerpts. Yeah, excerpts. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Because there's always this, this inevitably. Somebody say something. Oh, don't put that. In, don't put that in there. Right, right. You know, <laughs> yeah, we have this running yeah. joke that the, everybody says, "Strike that from the record. Yeah. Don't yeah. print that." Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I'm thinking that'd be a good, you know, a good teaser to get, you know, oh yeah, before yeah. the issue comes out, put idea. put out little little clips on YouTube, yeah. and Facebook, and yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so some of the bands play when they come to their interview in yes. our in our jam space, um, and some don't. Yeah. Um, but. We love it either way. Yeah. Everyone who comes, any every band who comes is welcome to play a few songs. Yeah. Yeah. Great. yeah. yeah. Oh, that's And sometimes cool. we'll put some of that up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Playing yeah. And so forth. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Now, so what is the, the criteria in terms of uh, uh, artists who are in Paper Jam? Do you, do you focus on New Hampshire or is it, is yeah, it a we, wider we, area? New Hampshire based. We mainly focus, okay. focus, focus on, on New Hampshire. Okay. We started out just trying to keep the local, local area, like Rochester, Dover. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't, you know, we don't have that much money <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. to pay for, you know, a million pages. Right. And it's a lot of work. Oh, uh, yeah. So we started out that way. And as it's grown, more and more people from further away yeah. are, are getting into it. Um, the whole idea, though, is that there is, we support any and all music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There are no... I don't care if it's your first day playing guitar or you've been playing for That's 50 right. years. Yeah. So all what levels. What kind of music it is or it doesn't matter. And yeah. it doesn't matter if you're country, pop, jazz, yeah. all levels. It's all inclusive. Yeah. yeah. The whole um, idea is just to support everybody. Yeah. We are getting contacted by bands outside of New Hampshire. Yeah. That's maybe been one of the more difficult parts is I don't want to say no to anybody, but right. at the same time, 
there are so many local bands that are, still are on our list. Yeah. So I have a list called Bands in Line. Okay. Unfortunately, there is a, a waiting list. Yeah. And we're full through much of 2025. Oh, wow. No yeah. So so the bands have been real uh, patient and understanding that they have to wait in a little bit of a line. Yeah. So that's a good problem to have. Yeah, I definitely. Think, definitely. Right? Yeah. Um, but, but when I start hearing from bands in other states, that's when I have to kind of think about mm, New Hampshire based for yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Because that's only going to obviously, as you uh, you know, as you continue to grow, uh, that'll that'll probably continue to intensify. I would right, think. Yeah. and and especially now with the website too, you're going to be probably you probably already are hearing from a lot more. Yeah, yes, it's a very artists. busy mailbox. Yeah, and yeah. One of, <laughs> one of the things that Sheila came up with because we can't have all these bands from everywhere at this point um, is that if they contact us and we can't necessarily put them in, she does like a spotlight special on the website and put something together oh. for an advertisement. Some of them yeah, I put together a little video yeah. ad and for them, them that way. And oh, po- cool. pop it up on our Facebook page yeah. uh, so that they had a bit, so that they can be, uh, have a spotlight, but not necessarily end up in the pages of the magazine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that was cool. my way yeah. of sort of like not, not saying no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's good. That's good. And, and tell me about uh, getting on the cover. Like, is there in, in terms of, who gets on the cover? Like, what is the decision-making process there? And is there a, a criteria? Like, like when you put, like, obviously day to attend, you know, they certainly deserve to be on the cover. And yes, I'm, they do. I'm, I'm so glad that you did that. But, and I know they are too, because they, you know, they speak very highly of, of paper jam and, and what you're doing. But um, like, how does that work getting on the cover? Uh, getting on the cover. I th- think people believe it's because we, personally love that band the most or that we think they're better or when in fact it has very not little to do with very that. little to do with that it has yeah. something to do with that because y'all know i love day to attend so yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're going on the cover yeah but all of the bands that have been on the cover and all of the bands that have been in the pages of paper gem they're all equal to us we don't play favorites yeah um it's it actually boils down to mostly timing who who reached out first okay Right. And and I said, oh, I, I don't have anyone for my cover next month. Uh, and, and it's a band that draws a big crowd. Yeah. Big following. Or um, another thing factor is if they have like a CD just coming out. Yeah. Or, okay. So if you you've know. got a CD coming out or if you signed a, you know, we had one band who signed a production deal and they're on our cover, Vigil. Yeah, Vigil's great. Great metal, good, band. Good metal band. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brandon Finney. Yeah. Yes, I know Brandon. Brandon. Yep. Great yep. guy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and, he's, and he's, Craig been, and those guys. he's been on the show. Not for, he hasn't been on for a very long time, but he's yeah, he's been on. Yeah, he's good people. Yeah. yeah. So really, it's about timing. Who contacts us first? Um, if you know, if you contact me in January, I'm not going to make you wait. You know, you you got in first, so it's a, a combination of timing. Uh, what's what's new? What's in the news for you? What can we report on? And also, um, you know, who's 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 a big band? Yeah. Um, but some of the other bands that have been in the not on the cover are also cover worthy and we we had a saying where we're like there's only one cover and there's yeah. so many bands well yeah I'm, I'm curious i mean is it ever a hard decision it is a hard decision yeah. um bands like middleman or standard tuning or you know uh bands like you know they're fantastic and we just only have one cover so yeah right. yeah well, sometimes too what we'll try and do is whether it's the issue if it's a different issue before they're going to be in it Sometimes we'll give them the back cover. Oh, okay. So, yeah. you know, it, 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 it's not the cover, but it's the right. back cover. Yeah, know? yeah. So, or if we're going to tease something, you know, like a band coming in the next issue, or we might put that on the back cover or something like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So on the on the back cover of our Day to Attend issue, you'll see it has a cathedral, cathedral. a tribute to Van Halen. Okay. So they're next on our cover. Oh, cool. So, so um, they're, they're, they're a great band. They're a great yeah. band. Yeah. yeah. Great guitar player. And the bass player is super cool. Um, they're called Cathedral? <laughs> Cathedral, a tribute to the music of Van Halen. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, okay. Featuring Tyler Morris, um, doing all the Eddie Van Halen stuff. Oh, no kidding. Stuff. Yeah. He's fantastic, yeah. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that one. Very cool. Very cool. Um, and how many of these, so you've got this um, this Girls Rock where, you know, obviously you have, you've got a montage of, of uh, female musicians on the cover. Uh, it's a, so it's a special edition. Mm-hmm. Is, have you done 
more than one of these special editions where instead of you know just putting one artist where you that's of, the only one so far no kidding yeah. yeah 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 and that was a very popular issue yeah 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 excellent excellent yeah wonder why Lita ford actually <laughs> saw the girls rock issue yes she uh, did. we had a friend bring oh. it, bring it to the Lita ford show and oh no kidding i have a picture of her looking at it and then um we've also had zach wild uh read paper jam and sign it for us yeah so yeah. that was a fun moment yeah, we were talking about that off air. He gave you some, uh, you, he gave you some, some marital oh, he advice. Did. Yes, he did. Because you're, yeah. you know, because congratulations, it's been what eight months. Yeah, yeah. thank so you for le- that. Le- less than a year. It's still new, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, yeah, it, it, can you can you tell us what he told you, or is that not appropriate for uh, radio? No, actually, Tony, <laughs> we we love the story, so I'm yeah. sure oh, Tony would oh, be cool. happy to yeah. tell you what Zach told us. Okay, he he basically said. Use the word "I'm sorry." Be ready to say "I'm sorry," <laughs> right? You know, he's, he's like it, he, my wife's never going to believe it, so I just say "I'm sorry." Oh, okay. It was and really then, funny about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was hilarious. And then he's like, "So you say you're sorry, and then just say, um, do you want to go get some coffee?'" And you know, you go get, and just you know, just let that whatever problem it is roll off your back. Right, it's, right. Is basically. And he said, "Go have, go have a, he's like, go have a go cup ahead, of coffee and, and move on. Coffee. Have yeah, a happy life." On. Yeah. And he yeah. wrote that all of the. And he wrote it on the guitar case, which is funny because we've actually used the advice. Yeah, yeah. yeah so sometimes, or something, yeah. I'll Tony like, goes, okay, "Do you want to have, have a have cup of coffee? coffee?" And I go, "Yes." And then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> and then we say, "Thank you, Zach Wild." Yes, yeah. he's a really nice guy, though. That's what I've heard. Yeah. yeah. Wait, well, Jenny, you met you met Zach Wild, right? With Jeff yes, at a mm-hmm. this was right a here in Manchester. Yeah, when he was six, his sixteenth birthday present was surprise tickets to uh, VIP tickets to the Black Label Society. Concert here in Manchester. It was awesome. Yeah, yep. it was awesome. He told Jesse I was really that he had a really cool mom, so I was like really <laughs> excited about that. When they were at a, <clears throat> it must have, it was still the Verizon Center then, right? Was that that must yeah. have been before it was Snoo? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it wasn't Snoo back then. Yeah. Back then, listen. To me. <laughs> oh. But it was an amazing concert. It was an amazing. It was it was definitely worth it, hundred percent. And I think the money from the VIP was going to a children's hospital or something like that. It, it wasn't the band wasn't keeping it it was all getting donated awesome. i'm not surprised by that which at all. Yeah, yeah no it yeah. doesn't surprise me at all yeah either but that made it even more sweet to do the vip knowing where the money was going oh yeah 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 no it was an incredible concert definitely great memory i still wear my t-shirt yeah <laughs> <laughs> now so tony i'm curious when when you're you know obviously you're in a couple bands i assume you're out playing a lot of shows yeah do do um do people from other bands ever try to kind of lean on you, like, "Hey, get us into Paper Jam." Get, oh yeah, get, get us on the yeah. cover. We want to be on the cover, like oh, that kind oh, of thing. Yeah, all Do the they? Time. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time. And we, we, I mean, the the answer is always yes. We'll get you in there. Yeah. Well, I don't know exactly when, but we'll right, get you right. in there. Yeah. We, we don't really say no to anybody. Yeah. Um, and it's just again a matter of timing. Yeah. But one of the coolest parts for me about all of this is that you know meeting all these guys from all these different bands, and you know me, I'm one of them. Yeah. Know? And so we go out, we see them, these bands play, we get to meet everybody. But then I, I see faces that from the other bands showing up, see me play, which is always, you know, yeah. just, it's, it's, again, comes back to just an awesome community. Yeah. So, but it, it's really cool when I see the people that I've met through Paper Jam yep. out in the crowd. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you get to see me play now. Cool. Thanks. You know. It, okay. You know what else is really cool is when Tony's playing a show or we go to a show. And we look out in the crowd, and there's always a handful of people in a Paper Jam shirt or yeah. nice. Paper Jam hat, or or they're walking around um, picking up the issue because we leave them at the music venues. Yeah, like usually when we go to see a show, we bring copies with us. Yeah, and the venues are so so cool gracious it, yeah. and cool to let us put them there, and so we have a lot of drop sites. Yeah, around, but I definitely like the music venues, and so we bring copies and see these strangers wearing a shirt or reading the magazine and it's a pretty good feeling and then the next thing you know you see him at you see him again and i don't know we've met so many great people through this it's, oh it's hilarious because some of the people will send pictures oh i'm in mexico at the beach and where they're wearing their paper jam oh shirt. nice I'm in yeah Las Vegas yeah or, we have this you know, travel we have this, around the world you know paper we jam have this around thing the world. where is awesome, where yeah. is paper jam so when i when they travel they send me a pic in their shirts and oh. tell me where they're where they're from somewhere in the world very cool. It's kind of fun. Very yeah. cool. How do people get the shirts? Do they order them online? Or? Yeah, yeah, you can. I ha, we have sh- um, sh- men's and ladies uh, shirts, and yeah. just got some tank tops and yeah, yeah. stickers and yeah, we have stickers, like, keychains, all kinds cool. of merch. Yeah. So 
And how many how many uh, drop locations do you have? I, I assume that's grown over the. It has grown. I think we started with like you know six, seven, eight, and now I believe there's over thirty. And I think I, you know, definitely want to give a shout out to a friend of ours named Jim Jim Antonino. He came into the paper jam circle and has really been huge super supportive and, and, and super supportive in helping us get ads. Yeah. So and we weren't it. selling ads uh, the first year and a half. Or yeah. Two. This is also kind of recent. Jim has been very helpful in helping us sell ads and um, find new locations to put Paper Jam magazine. Excellent. And uh, we appreciate him very much. Wealthy. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was sort of sticking to you know it's a hobby. You know I'm not trying to make money. I'm just trying to you know, help the bands get some recognition that they deserve. And then Jim came and said, you have a really good model going here. Let me see where we can take this. Yeah. And so he has helped us so much. I appreciate you, Jim, very much. And um, so we've sold a few ads. And, Excellent. And we're just. Um, yeah, I, I have to give a shout out to uh, Scott at Big Hit Guitars as well. He was one of the first yeah. to sign up. Scott at Big Hit guy. Guitars. We're awesome a great, guitar, great guitar, guitar store right in Barrington. In Barrington. Barrington yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Real nice stuff. He's got the whole range, but he's got some real nice high end. Excellent. Stuff too, so there. even though it's just us in one sense, it's really not just us because we've had help along the way. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's outstanding. Uh, by the way, uh, Jay Bello, who I'm sure you all know uh, from uh, uh, Chasing the Devil, uh, he's in the chat room. He says, uh, Thank you all so much for what you do for local uh, music and musicians. Oh, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jeff Richards, of course, from Day to Attend, says uh, Black Label played Chantilly's in Manchester once with Robert on bass, who is in Metallica now. Yeah. Wow, they played. Wow. Yeah. I, I remember. Yeah. I remember going that. to a lot of shows back in the day at Chantilly's. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, that must have been when Black Label Society was just starting out. Uh, they were yeah, playing Chantilly's. That been, yeah. That would have been way back. That had to be way back. Way yeah. Back. <laughs> early early two thousands, probably. I still remember the first time I ever saw Zach Wild when he was. I think it was in the. Uh, uh, Ozzy's uh, No More Tears video. Yeah, yeah. He, he looked yeah. very different then. Oh, he was, <laughs> yeah, he was a pretty boy. <laughs> he looked that's, very different. That's, that's the Zach Wilde I fell in love with. with yeah, the yeah. No More Tears era. Yeah, I yeah. I saw the, uh, the Theodore Madness tour at the Orpheum. Which okay. Was the first one. And it was, you know, a small location. Zach just, and I was just starting to play the guitar. Yeah. So he just absolutely floored me. I yeah. I was like, oh, I want to I do that. Yeah, and, yeah. And I've never looked back. I've been obsessed with the guitar ever since. Oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tom Syracusa from, uh, uh, of course, uh, Day to Attend says Paper Jam supports young musicians as well. Yes. Um, oh, Grimrock is in the uh, Facebook live chat, uh, our friend from Pennsylvania. By the way, so in the coming up in the third hour, so uh, he sends us a lot of cool stuff, and we have not opened this package yet. But this package here that I'm holding, uh, we're going to open. Oh, this is from Grim, from our friend Grimrock in PA, and we're going to open that in the, uh, I mean, we know what it is, right? I do. I mean, it's it's obviously, I assume it's a CD. I know what you it know. Is. You know what it is, but we're I'm gonna, not telling you nothing. We're going to open that up uh, today in the the third hour live on the air. So looking forward to that. <laughs> but uh, no, he's amazing. But um, and uh, he says, "Hey, hey, hope everyone's day rocks." I have, have Grim stickers yes. along with my day to attend stickers. Yes, <laughs> and I'm wearing a day to attend T-shirt. Yes, that that yes. is true. Yes, yes, she is. Uh, Jen, I really wish I brought you paper jam stickers. <laughs> I'm going to send you some. Oh, we yeah. love stickers. Yeah, Jenny loves the stickers. Yeah, you can see on, uh, if you're watching live on Facebook, you can see Jenny's. Uh, That's just one part of my laptop. They're on the bottom, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're on everything. I, I'm a sticker Jen, fan. Jenny's got a lot of stickers. Jesse inherited that from me, too. He's he's now stickering up his guitar case. Oh, so okay. Yeah. He's on a mission. Speaking <laughs> of stickers, when the bands come for their interviews, they give us, it's awesome. They bring so much merch, and they're yeah. so generous. And so we, too, ended up with a large pile of uh, band stickers, which we love. Yeah. I was trying to think what to do with them. So we went out and we bought, like, this huge poster board. Oh. And we made, like, a wall of stickers. Oh, that's the, a great yeah, idea. Nice. So, yeah. so it, we filled it, so I got to start a new one. But um, they bring us all kinds of great, great things. CDs, shirts. Yeah. And band stickers. It's been we, fantastic. We used to have something like that in the old studio because we've, we've only been here. When did we move here? Uh, October, November of last year. But when we were at, in our, uh, when WMNH was on our Elm Street location, we had a wall where, you know, you could put stickers yeah. and sign it. And, but uh, but uh, now that we're in this nice new place, it's really not, not a 
place for that. You know, I mean, yeah. if, if somebody pulled out a Sharpie and signed the wall here, I'd get fired. But, but we, are, <laughs> but we had a, but yeah, we had a really cool thing where, you know, you could do that, but no, that's a great idea though. Um, the Rochester opera house is cool about that in, in the back, back part of the stage. Yeah. All the bands that have played there get to sign it. Yeah. Know, right there yeah. Then. And a lot of the venues have, will have something like that. Yes. You know, where oh. they'll have a sticker, you know, Oh yeah. All stickers. And it's you, a, it's always to, a, a fight bands. Again, I'm going to put my sticker over there. These things, you know. I used to see that a lot in Boston. Like when I was really active promoting live shows, I would see that at a lot of the Boston venues. And, mm-hmm. and I'm sure a lot of them still have it where it just, you know, just covered in, in oh, yeah. stickers, you know, going back decades, you know, For and, sure. and yeah. you could kind of, you could kind of look at it and try to pick out, Oh wow. I remember that band. And I remember that band. Do you remember and, Sarah Morgan's Cove in Worcester? Um, it sounds familiar. Yeah, their claim to fame was the Rolling Stones played there once in Aerosmith. But anyway, it, oh. it was it was a cool place. Yeah, it's gone now, like yeah. many of them, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Middle East, DTs, all those places, they all had stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of places come and go. Um, now, so do you ever feature anyone, or have you ever featured anyone in the publication who's not necessarily a musician but is doing something else, like maybe someone who owns a venue? Or uh, blah, blah. yeah, that's a great question. We actually, in addition to uh, band interviews, we also have spotlight articles. Okay, and there's a website for female drummers uh, called Drummer Girls United. I think it has about seven thousand female drummer members. Yeah, and from from that site, I have interviewed separately three uh female drummers so we did spotlight on them and then we've also done a spotlight on a few venues yeah that feature live music and uh i love to do spotlight articles the in the next issue there'll be one with scott from big hit guitars that we mentioned previously okay to spotlight his new guitar shop because it's fantastic it is really nice is um, it? yeah <laughs> it's bad for me because it's too close to my house so we try yeah. <laughs> so the magazine we try to include band interviews and then we try to include some music related articles yeah maybe about gear or how to promote your cd yeah uh, songwriting or songwriting lyrics that kind of yeah. thing yeah and then we have the spotlight articles which are generally shorter okay um and and then we also add in some jokes and some trivia and some fun stuff um and yeah people seem to like it yeah yeah, yeah. it's a good time do you have um do you have a number of is uh, like, is there a number of artists that you try to have in every, is there like a minimum threshold of artists that you try to have in each issue? I or, started uh, with two per issue and it no went, kidding. and it went to three. And now in this day to attend issue, there's four bands. Yeah. But we did four full interviews. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to the interviews, we try to find an angle. Mm-hmm. I, when the band arrives and we get situated, I let them know, like, as we talk through this interview, I need to find an angle for your band because otherwise it's all going to sound the same. Right. So right. I often ask, tell me about your background. What's your experience? How'd you learn to play music? Or I'll say, uh, what venues have you played or who influenced you? Mm-hmm. All of those questions are often the same for every band, but it would all start to sound alike if we didn't find an angle. Right. And luckily there always seems to be one. We yeah, just, always an angle. some band yeah, is, yeah. you know, one band's coming out with a new album or one band is brand new on the scene and they're trying to make a name for themselves. That's their angle, the yeah. new band on the scene. Um, or, or there's um, a band that's, you know, all females, or there's a band that's made up of teenagers, like a band we featured, um, in the day to attend issue. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tom Syracuse's daughter, Hannah Rose is 15 and she's a fabulous drummer and she's in bands. And so uh, yeah. we featured her in there as well. So um, we try to find the angle so that it all doesn't sound the same. Hopefully it's working. Do you, do you have prior experience uh, interviewing or, or, uh, or working in PR? Because, because what you just said, not everyone knows that. And, it, and it's evidence that not everyone knows that because you'll see a lot of people who do interviews who do. They just ask the same old questions. Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah, what where kind, are you from? What and kind of music do you play? <laughs> you, yeah. you know, yeah. so so to know that, I mean, is that just something you knew instinctively or do you have prior experience? I don't have prior experience in interviewing or, or, yeah. or anything like that, but um, but I've always been a writer. Okay. And so I like I have a book of short stories. I've written novels. Like I, I, I've always been a writer. Okay. And that's... So I think from that, yeah, I learned some of that. Yeah, yeah. Some of you know, 
Yeah, because it was obvious. Like looking, like looking at the day to attend article, it was like, okay, you know, you know how to interview. Because not everyone does. A lot of yeah. people try and they don't really know how to do it. She does you know a great I mean? job. Yeah, yeah. Thank I'm you. just sort of like the comedic value, you know, <laughs> comedic value to the whole thing. Right, right. <laughs> now, crack jokes, another you know, part of food another thing we <laughs> put out the snacks. Yeah. yeah. Well, somebody asked you. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> um, so another thing that's interesting about the articles is that some of them are written uh, in a question and answer format. Mm -hmm. And other articles are written, you know, just straight out, like about the band versus question With and answer. With quotes as opposed to. Yeah, yeah. You know. And yeah. so someone asked me one time, like, how do you decide, you know, and I just said, it depends on the feel of mm -hmm. the band, what we're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, some bands feel more like a question and answer type interview. I can't really say why. It just, it's yeah. a feeling and it depends on the angle we want to talk about. So. Um, and then I love to get the pull quotes, I call them. Uh, the pull quotes are inevitably someone in, during the interview will say something profound or interesting that yep. stands out to me. Yep. And I'll make a little note, like this would make a great pull quote. And yeah. then as you look, flip through the pages of Paper Jam, you'll see a lot of that. Yeah. Like you'll see a band member's photo and then usually like a great quote that they gave us. Yeah. And so I'm kind of fortunate because the bands make it easy for us. They have so much to say and... Yeah. And they're great. Is there anyone who's really surprised you? I mean, I'm sure there are like who, who you interviewed them and they wound up being way more interesting than you expected. Like they just had a, a backstory that really maybe went in, a, went in a direction you weren't expecting. All or the something. time. The f Almost every time. There's, really? There's yeah. Some sort of surprise that you, like even day to attend those guys, again, wicked nice guys, but the way yeah. they all pulled together from all these different, situations yeah. they were in over a long period of time yeah and you know it's just but it, almost every band gives us some sort of we didn't expect that yeah right. which is really cool it's you know, yeah. and you find yeah. out somebody was like oh well i was an opera singer i didn't didn't see that one coming right right you know, right <laughs> just, you know and stuff like that so it's always it's always an interesting and, time and isn't that one of the like i feel like for me as as someone who interviews people that's like one of the best things oh. i love when somebody says something to me I completely wasn't expecting or they reveal something about me themselves too. that just like, wow, I didn't see that coming. That just makes it so much more rewarding. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I, I'll have to say that one of the questions I like to ask is, do you have any hobbies or interests outside of music? Yeah. Because they're all here to talk about their instruments and their music and experience. But sometimes I'm just curious to know, what do you like to do when you're not doing music? Yeah. And that's where it really gets interesting because you find out that, you know. Some people are a chef. Some people are a yeah. you know, professional or, chef yeah. or, or some people. Or it, MMA. Or, yeah. Yeah. And know, so, uh, and so it's been really interesting yeah. to hear what they like to do outside of music. Yeah. To really get to know them. And well, that, that surprises me sometimes. Um, we had one, we had one band member who told me he's made over 500 or 800. I forget a very high number of, of skydive jumps. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. yep. that, was, that was, uh, that was Scott, I think. I think from, so. From uh, from Stiletto. Yeah. Well, you know what I think is smart, too, about your approach is it, it kind of, I, I think it, it probably uh, snaps them out of, because I, I, I mean, I can kind of tell, and I'm sure you can, too, when someone comes into an interview and they're sort of, they have an expectation of what they're going to be asked. And they've kind of already done the interview in their yeah. own mind, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so it's not, you know, some musicians, I mean, I know from my experience, Sometimes I'll interview someone and they seem really spontaneous and, and like they're fully engaged. And some people, you know, you can kind of tell where, like I said, they've already done the interview in their brain. Yeah. They're, they're just kind of giving you the answers to the questions that they're already expecting to hear. So if you can pull them out of their shell right. by asking them something sort of outside of that. Yeah. Right, right. That's a great technique. We start with the speed round. We just throw out just questions. and really, we, yeah. Just to break the ice, we say like Megadeth or Metallica, cats or dogs. You know, yeah, Fender or Gibson, Fender or Gibson, like, yeah, and, and then and then mountains he gets or lakes, a, yeah, mountains or lakes, you know, and, and, and beer or hard stuff, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and then once we get through muscle that, muscle cars and motorcycles, muscle cars or motorcycles, tattoos or piercings, yeah. you know. Uh, Jeff uh, from Day to Attend says in the chat, it's amazing how Sheila compiles all that info into the amazing articles. Thank you, Jeff. How long does that take? I mean, it probably varies wildly from one to the next, but I mean. It takes a long time. Yeah. It's, 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 it's pretty much a full-time job outside of my regular full-time job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And at the second month, you know, because we have two months, she has two months to do it. Yeah. 
And so trying to get all the interviews, and inevitably, a lot of the interviews happen in the second month. Yeah. So the last two, three weeks of that month. It's like go time. She was like, yeah. <laughs> I got to go work on it. And she's always at the computer and, you know. Right, Just right. busting her cute little bum there to, uh, <laughs> to, to finish it up. Does it come out the same uh, day of the month? We no, try it, 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 it comes out at the beginning of you know it, it, it's bi monthly, so yeah. it'll come out early in the in the new month. Okay, but it's not always the same day. Yeah, um, you know I don't think the printers open on the weekends, so oh, sometimes right. we have to wait till Monday. And, yeah, yeah. And then of course driving it around, and we both have day jobs, so yeah, you know just trying to find the time to go distribute it and so forth. So usually within a few days of the beginning of the month. Though. Yeah. yeah. Another thing that we do that people may not realize is that w- once the issues done so to speak i always i always do proofs yeah uh, from the printer so i go pick up a black and white and a color proof and i go over it page by page to make sure that the colors translate well yeah and it looks good in black and white looks good in color make sure there's no spelling mistakes yeah and as a grammar nazi (laughs) i really have made typos before and i didn't sleep for a week because i just don't want to make typos in my magazine, but it happens. We're all human. Yeah. But I try to go through it um, and check the colors and the layout and make sure it's all looking good. And before we hit what I call the go button. Yeah. But so once I look at the proofs, then I we hit the go button and and then and then uh, the printer does their thing. Yeah, I know what you mean about grammar. I'm the same way. Right, you're the yeah. same way. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I did one issue where I said something about metal mayhem. And I misspelled mayhem, and yeah. I, I didn't catch it, and it still bothers me to this day. <laughs> I, I would be, I would be the same way in that situation. Like I, I even, I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm horrified if I see a, something I posted on social media and I realize I misspelled something. Yeah, and I'll go same. back and correct it. And most people yeah. wouldn't bother because it's just social media. But yeah, no, I'm I, the same I, way. I have to. Are you? I'm yeah, completely the same way. Yeah, yeah. Um, very cool. Oh, we should mention too. Uh, so if you're, is it? Everyone who's in the magazine gets a, a color copy? Or yes. Is it, okay. Yeah. Every, is we, we print in black and white for our paper copies yeah. all over the community. Um, but we always print full color copies for everyone who gets in the in the magazine. Okay. So everybody in every band, every band that's in it, everybody in the our, band gets Each one. member gets a color copy. Oh, very cool. That's really cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, Tom Russo, who was also here with us last week, a very talented musician, he says, I'd love to get in your publication. This sounds great. Yeah, do you, do you know Tom? Singer, I don't. Singer songwriter, really. I, I know guy. the name. Yeah, yeah. I know the name. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's amazing. Um, we, we can get you in there. Just contact. we can get you in. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Contact us. What's the best way for? Um, should they contact you through the website or on social media? What's the, uh, the, the best, best way? The best way is uh, our email box. Yeah. It's uh it's paper jam underscore, underscore mag m a g at yahoo dot com. So paper jam underscore mag at yahoo dot com. Okay. And okay. just tell tell us a little bit about who you are and your band. And, you know, it doesn't have to be just a band. It could be solo musicians. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that, too. So yep. if you'd like to be in Paper Jam, just send us an email and tell us a little bit about yourself. A lot of times people will send links so we can listen to yeah. their music. And um, we can go from there. Yeah. I, again, there is a bit of a waiting line. Yeah. So if you don't if you don't mind waiting a little bit, but we can make it happen. Yeah. It's, it's amazing how patient a lot of these bands are. Sure, sure. Because, yeah. they, you know. Or some of them will be like, I do want to be on the cover. And we're like, well, it's going to be like eight months. Yeah. Before and they'll be like, that's okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. wait. Yeah. You know, and they do. And it's, you know, it's great. It's, it's, it's everybody a, really it's, is supportive of it. And it's a yeah. nice mix too, because we have cover bands, we have original bands, mm-hmm. and then we have tribute bands. Yeah. So we've done all three. And, and so it's a nice mix yeah. there. Yeah. Outstanding. Bless you, I think. Did you just sneeze? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Our allergies have been, well, I have allergies. I don't know what your issue is. I'm allergic to you. Yes, that must be what it is. <laughs> that must be what, um, oh, and before we run out of time, the time goes so quickly, it's already approaching the top of the hour, but what, what do you have, or do you know yet, what's, um, what's in store for the next issue? Um, obviously, Day to Attend is on the cover. On the cover one. of this one, yeah, but for next time, we have Cathedral, Okay. Uh, the Van Halen uh, tribute, um, amazing Van Halen band. Yeah, amazing. Is With our friend again? Kirk Bartholomew, and it features Kirk. He's awesome. Kirk and um and Tyler Morris. Um, we're looking at a band called Down by Ten, a band called Dumpster Fire. Um, <laughs> I think that's a great name. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do love that. And um, we're looking at uh, Scott at Big Hit Guitars for yep, a nice spotlight. spotlight article. Yeah. Um, and lots more. Excellent, excellent. 
And who else is in the current one too? For uh, obviously, Data Ten is on the cover. Who else do you have in the current issue? Uh, we have Standard Tuning, great cover band, and um, C Rock. Yeah. And Tainted that's, Hearts. That's, that's okay. Right. So C Rock is a band, uh, a local cover band that came, and it, they gave us a very memorable interview because they were hilarious and made us laugh for yeah. two hours. So yeah. that was a lot of fun. <laughs> they, they were just, wicked fun. They just really, were great. Yeah. And uh, Tainted Hearts is the uh, young teen band that uh, they range in age from 15 to 17. And that's, um, that's who's in the current issue. I think their name has come up on the show recently. I don't remember why. but Tainted I, Hearts is, is Tom Syracuse of Day to Attend. That's his daughter. Oh, yeah, his Hannah daughter, Rose. Hannah Rose. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's why. Yeah, so Tom must have mentioned that. Yeah, uh, I mean, he okay. must have mentioned that. So we were no, happy. I have to, just for them. Tom, Guns N' Roses are awesome. Yeah. There you go. That's for you, Tom. I, he, he loves Guns N' Roses. Well, don't we all? I do. Who does? I mean, or everybody. I mean, they're one of those bands. I mean, who doesn't? I, I mean, everybody either loves them or at least likes them. Yeah. Right? You yeah. very rarely hear anyone say, I don't like Guns N' Roses. No, it's, I don't know if that's ever happened. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody somewhere, but it's it's unusual. Like, my, my favorite band is Kiss. Right on. But there yeah. are a lot of Kiss haters. Like, oh, yeah. there are a lot of people who will tell you they don't like Kiss. <laughs> but, uh, no, Guns N' Roses. I don't know anyone who... Uh, Jenny, Guns N' Roses? Not particularly. You do... You don't particularly like them? Yeah. See, we found wow. somebody live on the But she air. didn't say First she time. hates them either. Yeah, yeah. you don't, you don't, don't hate them, though, do you? I don't hate any musician. Okay. <laughs> do you dislike them? I'm not particularly fond of their music, no. Mm. Oh, well. Yeah, no. Well, then. I guess I can't say that <laughs> next time. <laughs> no, I guess not. Jenny just you didn't <laughs> ask me until now. Uh, I guess I mean, I, 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 do you ever hear me play them? Actually, no. Never. That's in all true. our years, like a decade, never. Oh, and Jeff yeah. Richards uh, says, uh, kiss rules, Matt. You rock. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we are out of time. Uh, remind us again, where should people go online, the website, and anything else people should know about Paper Jam? Well, the website is paperjammagazine.com. So if you want to look at some back issues, uh, I'll send it to you, mail order. I think it's, it's only four bucks Yeah. Uh, to order a back issue. Okay. And... Uh, the email is paperjam underscore mag at yahoo.com. Okay. Yep. And of course, we're on Facebook as well. And we're on Facebook yes. as uh, Paper Jam, uh, the music mag for local bands and fans. Okay. Okay. Outstanding. Uh, Sheila and Tony, thank you both so much. This thank you so much, thank for, so much having for having us. This has been wonderful. We'll have to do it again in the future. I love what you're doing. Um, very, very cool. And we'll actually end uh, this segment uh, with uh, Ghost Inside, another great track from Day to Love Attend. Love it. Great song. And, of course, uh, Day to Attend is on the cover of the current issue of Paper Jam magazine. And uh, this is another great track. This is called Ghost Inside.